go to Jack, who's on the line in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Jack, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. How can I help? Yeah, Ken. I've been on the discovery stage for the past year and a half, two years, Mm -hmm. and I finally narrowed it down to um, becoming a certified financial planner or a real estate agent. I already have my real estate license. I got it about four years ago, but taking the plunge into doing it full time with the irregular irregular income uh, has me kind of skeptical for making the right choice between that or the other career. Now, I just wanted your guidance. Well, which one do you really want to do? There's one clear leader. If I made you choose, what does your heart tell you that you would love to do? Meaning, let me put it this way. If you knew you were going to be successful, guaranteed, which one would you choose? Real estate, yeah, for sure. Right. Now, here's the good news. I just wanted you to say that because everybody thinks that you got to jump into real estate full time. I don't know why. I think that's a mad decision. It's craziness. And I don't know why we think that. And it's not just you. I think this is a part of the human condition. I think the human condition is is an all or nothing mentality. I just think that's where we start. But I, I got to tell you, if real estate's your thing, uh, like Jack here, this is actually the easiest, I think, one of the easiest careers to slowly transition into because you don't have to be all in to get going and get better. And what I mean by that is, Jack, um, most people are fine looking in houses on weekends or evenings. So that's you, that means you could keep your day job. And you sell a couple houses in your first couple months, and then you sell another, and you get to a point where you go, okay, I'm going to try to sell a house a month, and I'm just going to keep stacking that commission up and stacking it up. And while I'm stacking commission up, I'm building my reputation and credibility and very happy clients, which are going to be word of mouth for me and grow my business. And I'm just going to bite my lip, and I'm going to deal with the day job, uh, knowing that it is funding my future. And then you build the real estate thing on the side. You put enough money away for a minimum of six months of your salary at your current day job. And that's a minimum six months. I like 12 months. Um, and, and if it were me, I'd get a little greedy. I'd be like, well, I'm not ready to quit because I'd like to stick 12 months in the bank, you know, and, and keep getting <laughs> paid for the day job. But I, I just think that's the path. I don't think this is confusing or scary. Am I missing something? I think for me, I'm 27 years old, and I'm a little worried that I'm kind of running out of time. Oh, my gosh. Um, as as a 27-year-old would say and would think. You're right. Everybody, yeah. everybody in my studio right now who's over the age of 40 is going, oh, my gosh. I, I got an engineer here shaking your head. How old are you? 40? 46. Joe, how old are you? 56. Uh, I'm 45. Now, the rest of the gals back there are all in their 20s, so they would be like you, Jack. I'm running out of time. Madison, the associate producer, told me, no kidding, earlier this year, at 25, she's feeling old. Jack, how does that, isn't that silly? It sounds silly, yeah. All right, because it is silly. And Madison is not a silly person. But when she said she's starting to feel old at 25, she's thinking and acting silly. You are sounding ridiculously silly at 27 going, I'm running out of time. So so let me ask the question again. What am I missing on your clear path? You have a very clear path to being able to do real estate full time. What am I missing that you don't see? I think I just have to. I think you're right about keeping the day job and doing that right yeah. there on the side. It is a really flexible job to Perfect. do on the side. And you're 27. There's no yeah. reason why you're not wildly successful three years from now. But you're going to have to get qualified. Right? So that means you got to pass the real... Have you passed the real estate? You've done all that, haven't you? Yeah, I already have my license, yes. Yeah, so what's the problem, man? Start Get, get with a good broker, somebody who's a rock star, who'll take you under their wing, tell them your situation. And that you want to be smart financially, not just jump. And, and now the only thing I may be missing, which you didn't tell me, are you financially independent right now at 27 where you don't have a lot of expenses or you got cash stacked away to where you could walk away from the day job? Yeah, but only about 14 k Yeah, well, that's not enough. Do what I told you to do. It's going to be more worthwhile. Okay? Hang in there, man. Go get, Go start selling homes. 
Start showing houses on the weekends, busting your tail at night and weekends. You're 27. Now's the time to bust your butt. And then you start to reap the harvest in your 30s and 40s. And you're going to be a multi, multi millionaire. And you're going to remember this phone call and you're going to go, Good grief, what an idiot. I was 27 and I thought I was running out of time. I mean, you know, you're not running out of time. You got lots of time. Hey, Jack, instead of thinking you're running out of time, how about you start using all that time you got? There is no reason in America right now why a realtor couldn't sell houses, show houses at night and weekends. You can have a day job and win in the part-time job, which becomes a dream job. By the way, um, Jack, I I didn't tell you this. I know you're on hold. If you want to get into real estate like Jack and you want to win, Jack, the thing you need to do is go to brianbuffini.com today. B-U-F-F-I-N-I brianbuffini.com he's a good friend of mine been on the show before he's the dave ramsey of training real estate agents he's he's a rock star and and just start investing in his program he and do what he tells you to do and you'll be a world-class realtor